My name's Luke Hornsby, I'm the chief writer for St Kilda Football Club for the website saints.com.au. The uh, club's here on a two week training camp in Boulder. Uh, last year they just missed the finals or playoffs as you'd call it over here. Uh, they've had a fairly successful run in recent years without actually winning the premiership or championship. What are your, what are your impressions of Boulder so far? Um, very nice sort of town, very uh, clean, healthy living, very uh, organic I guess is the word. Um, no pretensions, um, some, some good energies, very welcoming people and uh, yeah they've, uh, they've really, uh, really welcomed us with open arms. What's it like to have them right here in your backyard, basically? Uh, it would be like uh, it would be like a uh, an American from Boulder going to Melbourne and being able to have a chat to Peyton Manning and have their photograph taken. Um, so you have to go to Melbourne to kind of appreciate. Um, the significance of these guys, you know, in our city, and uh, it's, um, I mean, these are, these people are household names. Um, they, um, you know, they, we call them supporters or fans of Australia, uh, but the fans will be, um, you know, reading about them, thinking about it, about them, you know, watching them. Um, and the guy that I just spoke to was almost instrumental in winning our equivalent of the Super Bowl. And to so to have the experience of you know looking in his eyes and uh, wishing him well, you know, it'd be like as I say, it'd be like a Broncos fan being in Melbourne and doing the same for Peyton Manning. I mean you would never get that opportunity, you know, if you were I would never get that opportunity if I was in Australia. A lot of people here who are really thrilled to see yeah. you guys here. What yeah, does that mean? We've, uh, we didn't know what to expect coming over here. I mean, it's our, our first international training camp. I mean, a lot of the older boys went back in the day, but um, we were really surprised at uh, some of the expats, mm -hmm. yeah, um, some of their skills, and we met a few the other day. Um, and anything we can do for the game of AFL in the United States is, is massive for us, and especially the relationship that we've got with the, the university. It's really good. What's sort of your favourite... Um, Colorado activity that you've done so far? Colorado activity? Uh, I think on the hike, we put, even though we got up at four, um, we, the first hike we did El Dorado, uh, and the second one we, second one, I'm not sure of the name, um, it took us about five and a half hours, six hours, that was pretty enjoyable. Got some good photos, um, some beautiful scenery up there, and when the sun comes up, it's really nice. Well, for us, this is our 140th year as a football club, so it's, um, it is an anniversary year. So when you see, when you come to Colorado, I guess probably the last thing you expect to see are really passionate St Kilda supporters uh, turning up to some of our sessions. And so to be able to bring the game to them, uh, and they've been very loyal supporters over a long period of time, is, is outstanding. But it also makes us realise um, how, how proud we should be of our football club. Um, so we're thrilled that they come to training, uh, they've been able to join in, particularly when we are at Kid Fields, we had a really good session there. Um, you know, to see people living over here wearing St Kilda football jumpers, it's just it's quite astonishing to be honest. I had an amazing night last night, we were uh, obviously watching the CU basketball team play against Colorado State. And just the, um, to be honest, I enjoyed it more than the NBA game that we saw the night before, um, because it was tribal and it was, uh, it was passionate and um, uh, even uh, the atmosphere is like a cauldron um, so, so we love that so to see that the real raw emotion and the feeling that um, the supporters had for their team and the passion that their team played with uh, was a real um, it was a great eye opener again for our players um, particularly the defensive intent uh, of, of CU we took a lot out of that and um, it's a real focus for us going forward as well so there are a lot of parallels that we were able to draw from the way that they were working defensively, so it was a great night. Cool. Anyway, um, it means a lot to me to have these guys here, it's really fun.